Hey there everybody, I can't think of a better way to spend a spring day than to come out and see a good old-fashioned American baseball game. Hey there Charlie T. Thank you very much. Come on inside, let's head into the Joe. All right, Gigi, can't wait for that game to start. Hey, but you know what? If there's one thing that I love just as much as baseball, it's shopping. Let's head inside. Come on, let's go. Well, thank you so much. Cynthia Linhart, Merchandising Director here at the River Dogs. We're here at the Souvenir Shop and appreciate you having us in. You've got a store chock full of merchandise. Yes. Tons yes. of stuff for everyone. Yes, we do. And we're very excited. This season we have, um, we've added a lot to our children's collection and also to our women's collection. Yes. Um, I love this. Yes. It's got to have something for the little ladies. Yes. It's the first time we've had it. We've added polka dots to our pink collection for our little girls. And then we've also added one of our favorites, the Pierre Santos. It's a jersey for the youth. And I just love the colors. And that's not the only thing. And we'll get to some of the women's stuff in just a second here. But name some of the other items that you've got from jerseys to hats. What else have you got? So this year we added to our adult collection the Tampa Bay Rays um, jersey, which is Tampa Bay blue, and then also the Holy City Navy. And then in the women's collection, we've added rainbow tanks, rainbow shirts, um, and that harkens back to the River Dogs history when they were not called the River Dogs. In fact, they were called the Rainbows. Yes. yes. So a little known fact for some of the new people who've moved to the area. So yeah. can you give us a little bit of a history lesson on this? Yeah, so we originally were the Rainbows prior to becoming the Charleston River Dogs in 1994. And most folks do when they come into the merchandise store. One of the questions they ask is, what are the Rainbows? Who are the Rainbows? <laughs> we take a lot of pride in that. Um, and it's one of our favorite hats in the store as well. And you know what, during springtime when baseball is in full swing is when we tend to see a lot of rainbows here in the Low Country. So it's a beautiful tribute to the Low Country, of course. Mm -hmm. Now, I brought my sweet Gigi here. She, she loves baseball just as much as I do. Yes. You've also got a lot of stuff for the doggies. We do. And so Tuesdays are our, our dog days at, at the ballpark. Something new we have is the Pierre Santos pet bandanas. Isn't that precious? Yes. You know what? I'm going to take it. Wonderful. Cynthia, We're thank so you excited. so much. Thank you. It's Gigi, a pleasure to have you. Do you like it? Do you like it? Oh, I think she likes it. All right, let's get it. All right, Gigi, she is looking tight. But you know what? Shopping, it works up an appetite. Let's head up to the Sager Club where Josh Shea is cooking up a storm. Josh, thank you so much for having us here. Yeah, thank you for being here. It's great to see you. Yes, ma'am. Well, I could smell it walking up to the Sager Club, and what you've prepared for us is really delicious. But I just want to introduce people to the Sager Club who may not be familiar. Okay. So this brings a heightened experience to the ballpark. Yeah, so back when we started the Sager Club, the whole experience was built to give those uh, individuals in Charleston that are looking for a heightened experience, that are used to the culinary cuisine downtown, that type of experience when they walk into the ballpark, but up into the Segra Club that we have right here. So, you know, during game days, uh, we have kind of a three phase experience with an amazing spread. Um, today we have roasted turkey and a hot honey carved pork loin with sides going out. We have an action station um, that will be manned by one of our great um, chefs that are here. He's doing a taco station today. And then we have just upgraded ballpark food. So we're doing grass fed beef burgers from North Carolina. We're doing all beef four to one Hebrew national hot dogs. And of course, this year we brought in a Cooper River brat, uh, which is from Cooper River Farms, which is a Carolina's farm. So we're, you know, bringing in some local products, but elevating that experience for the normal um, guess that's coming in. It certainly yeah. is. It certainly is. And I'll point out a couple of these dishes in just a second here. But uh, not only are you here to cater to a VIP experience on game day, yep. but the Sager Club also is used during off game season. So, yeah. so what do you do here? Yeah, so I mean, just this past year, we really start ramping up our catering uh, that we do here. We do a lot, of, a lot of wedding rehearsal dinners. We do a lot of like full weddings here. We do multiple business breakfasts, lunches. 
um, and we do the cocktail hours as well. So we've really expanded our menu that you can find online um, that we have attached with the Segura Club website. And you know, you can peruse what you're looking for, whether it's uh, heavy hors d'oeuvres, light bites, or you're looking for a sit down dinner that's catered for everybody. Full catering experience. Yes. And now, very soon, you're going to be bringing the ballpark to the people. Exactly. We're very excited about this experience. It, it's about five years in the making to get this done. Um, and graciously, Dave and our ownership group has uh, finally dove in with me to uh, get in a food truck for the River Dogs. Wow. Uh, we're really excited about it. It's getting wrapped right now, uh, and we just can't, can't hold in the excitement. We want to put it outside, showcase it to everybody once we get it back, and then it'll be on the road with all our community events, um, partnering with all our major partners, MUSC and Boeing. Um, and Southern Eagle and then you know really just also giving us an extension of our arm here with the catering because we do get those uh, requests for catering that's off-site. That's fantastic, yeah. that's fantastic. Well folks if you want to come to the Sager Club during the game just get an extra it's an extra ticket to get yes. up to the VIP yep. experience. But, but it's, it's open totally to the public to buy. Yep. Open to the public, don't have to have a membership. Nope. All right I've got my eye on the brat so I'm gonna take that outside with me and I'm gonna be ready for the ball game. Let's go. starving and I cannot wait to get this game started. Hey, Ben, good to see you. Oh, hey. Can I come and join you? Come on over. All right. Thanks for having me and Gigi. We're glad to have you here. Well, you know what? Sitting up here at the Sager Club is so much fun and Dog Day Tuesdays are a blast. What else have you got coming up? Yeah, Dog Day Tuesdays are when dogs eat the owner's food at the ballpark. <laughs> uh, so yeah, every Tuesday is Dog Day. You bring your dog out to the ballpark. It's a, it's a great way to celebrate the start of the week. And then um, we're home all weekend this weekend. So Fridays are fireworks. Um, Saturday is our Saturdays Live at the Joe where we do big outward fun promotions. And then Sundays, MUOC Health Family Sundays. It's free parking. Kids get to run the bases after the game, and it's a great day to be at the ballpark for an earlier game. Fantastic. All right, well, I don't know. The game has not started yet. I think we should practice the wave. All right, here we go. In three, two, one. Hey! 